So now you have your missile. How do you use it? In this video, I'll be going over the missile, the different parts of the missile, and then we will follow along with a mass. go ahead and look into the different parts of a missile. In this one in particular you have an introduction, you have prayers, you have the ordinary the mass, you have commemorations, you have the liturgical year which includes Advent, Lent, Easter, and Pentecost. In time after Pentecost, you have proper of the saints, you have votive masses, and you have feasts celebrated in particular places in certain religious congregations. Yeah, this, this missal also includes the offices of Tenebrae and Holy Week, various devotions, proper feasts of the United States, proper feasts in Canada, and we have the litany, the sacraments, goes into detail in each sacrament. Which is... So let's start with the liturgical calendar. On that we have the different feasts which take place in every month. Some of the greater feasts, some of the lesser feasts. So by going through here you can tell which feast is coming up on these feria days are feasts that the priest can choose to celebrate on that day. So it goes all the way to December. Then we go into prayers, which are very nice for this book. Okay. So before we get into the Missal itself, let's look at the division of the Mass. And from there, it'll let us know where we need to go at the points of Mass. So we're going to start off with the prayers at the foot of the cross. Then from there, we're going to go to the introit, to the offertory. Then from the offertory to the consecration. Consecration to the communion, communion to Thanksgiving, and then the conclusion and dismissal. So let's start off and look at the first Sunday of Advent. You'll see here that the prayers at the foot of the altar start on page 838. So it tells us already where the Mass starts. And here on that Sunday, you have the introit, you have the collect, you have the epistle, the gradual, the alleluia, the gospel. Offertory, secret, communion, and post-communion. Those are the parts of the Mass that change, as opposed to the ordinary of the Mass, which does not change day to day. If we look at the introit, right after it's done, it says, go to the key release on page 846. So you just couldn't follow along. From here to here to here to here. Gradual, alleluia. Prayers starts on 852. Gospel, offertory, offertory prayers, 858. Secret, communion, post communion. So, if we look at a typical Mass, prayers at the foot of the altar. Priest goes up to the altar. The introit tells you here. This is see the proper mass for the day. So that's when you would turn back, when the Father's here, to the proper mass of the day, in this case the first Sunday of Advent, and here's the introit that Father's Father is praying at the altar. So you'll notice here, Kyrie Laison. Go back to the Kyrie Laison. Continue. Gloria. Collects. Again, tells you it's the proper mass of the day for the collects. Go back, collect. So that's what you're doing. You're going back and forth for that mass of the day. So that just continues on. Continues on through everything. Here are prefaces for the consecration. Prayers, you have a preface, depending on the season, 
Nativity, Epiphany, Lent, Holy Cross, uh, or the Feast, Ascension, Pentecost, Easter. So, depending on the time of year it is, you would know which of these prefaces to read, or the preface that Father himself is reading. So after the prefaces, we're going to the Sanctus, three bells are rung that, are let, that lets you know that the consecration is next. So then, Father reads prayers. Community contest, again, depending on the season. Then we have the consecration prayer, elevation, the Eucharist, and the blood. And then prayers after the consecration. The Our Father, Pater Wester. And Again, you follow along. So, the Mass will either be taken from a Sunday uh, or a feast day, a first class feast day, I should say, whether it be a Holy Week, Ascension, Pentecost. It'll all be in here in the first part of it. And if that day falls, for instance, it's a Tuesday and there is a Mass for St. Paul, well then, that would be under the common of saints. Excuse me. That would be under the proper of saints. So then you would go to that Tuesday, whatever day it is. Let's say it's um, January 25th. Falls on a Tuesday, which is the conversion of St. Paul. You would then go to January 25th, conversion of St. Paul. Here you have your introit, collect. Epistle, gradual, hallelujah, gospel, where is the gospel? Here, it tells you the gospel itself is taken from the Mass, os justi of an abbot, page 991, so now you have to go to page 991. Or that day's gospel. They do this to save on space, of course. And that's why holy cards are pretty much essential. If you know in advance, if you get to mass early and you're sitting there and you notice, oh, I don't have enough ribbons, but the gospel is on 991, well then, there you are. You now know at the gospel to go to your holy card. I keep a few of them either in the back or the front of my missile just so I have them for those instances so proper of saints and different collects father decides to use a different collect for instance for the faithful departed on those feria days father can choose what mass to say say a mass and Honor the Holy Ghost, here are the collects, secret and post-communion he would take from here. So you may have to do some juggling around going from section to section. And of course, Father will let you know, most likely in a bulletin, where that Mass of the Day is coming from. Very simple overview. So what I'd like to do now is we're going to follow along with a Mass. Uh, thank you, Father Zepeda, for allowing me to record the Mass. And then we will be using the missile, so you will be able to see the missile use as the Mass is being prayed. So now we will prepare our missile to follow along with a Mass. The Mass in this case is a Mass celebrated on November 27th of last year, of 2017. As it happens, that day is a ferial day, so Father will choose the Mass. If we were to go to a proper saint to see what saint landed on November 27th, we will find that November 26th and nothing else. So, that tells us that Father will let us know where that Mass is going to be celebrated. And in this case, 
Father did place down in the bulletin that that mass will be a mass of the miraculous medal. So, and what we would do is we would go to our contents and we will look to see in our votive masses if we have anything for the miraculous medal, various occasions. No. Then we go to feast celebrated in particular places and certain religious congregations. And we start looking here. And we see, ha, huh, November 27th, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, 1692. So, 1692, there it is, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. We have the introit, collect, epistle, gradual, the alleluia. Gospel, oh, no gospel, tells us here that the gospel was taken from the second Sunday after the Epiphany, page 249. So we know we have to mark that page. Offertory, secret, communion and post-communion. So we have almost all of the propers for that feast day, except for the gospel, which, again, 249. So, you would then go to page 249. Gospel, second Sunday after Epiphany. Mark it with your holy card. So now we are ready to start Mass. So let's go ahead and follow a Mass while we use our Missal. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hear an altar server ring the bell, in which case the altar boy and father will both walk out. Father will be carrying the chalice that he will place upon the altar and set up the altar Missal for that day's Mass, making sure all the tabs are at the right places. So we see Father kneel, altar boy goes takes the Beretta, puts it on the chair, comes back, at this point you're going to just preparing for it, for Father to start the preparatory prayers at the foot of the altar. <clears throat> Father puts down the corporal onto the altar, Places the chalice on the corporal and then places the pole on the chalice itself to keep it covered so no foreign particles fall into the chalice. <clears throat> Father then moves over to the missile making sure that all the tabs are correct for the missile. In this case it would be for the Feast of the Miraculous Medal. The now comes down, they kneel, and they start the prayers at the foot of the altar. You have Father says, and you have response from the altar boy. Well, the response. <clears throat> At this point, we just follow along. You may or may not be able to hear Father as he speaks, but that's fine. Again, you're just following along in your missile. You see Father make the sign of the cross. We have here, and then Father starts his public confession. Confit here. turns toward the altar boy. He is telling him here. And 
it's probably finished the altar server as a response then the altar boy starts his confiture at that point when he turns to father that's when he tells to him and to thee father I have sinned exceedingly thought word indeed one more time he would turn towards father so every time he says the word or he's talking to father himself he would gesture towards him father responds and the altar server responds with Amen. Cross themselves and continue on the prayers for the altar. Father then walks up while saying these prayers. <coughs> Kisses the altar, so I'll say in this prayer. Goes over to the epistle side, to the missile. From there, he will go to the intro. At that point, we'll then go to November 27th and read the intro to the Father. Father then returns to the middle of the altar, starts the curia laison. So we have curia laison, then they respond curia laison, then he starts the gloria. If you know these prayers, it's a good idea to read through them and then start reading some of these explanations they have on the side. Very, very good explanations on what's happening at that moment. You'll see this little cross symbol here so you know at that point when Father crosses himself at what point he's at. It says to the people, the Lord be with you, and the sure responds, it comes to you. Then he goes back to the missile for the colics of the day. Again, we turn back. I read the colic of the Father. <coughs> You start noticing the gestures <coughs> that Father makes at the altar and at those times you know at what point where he's at in the Missal. So then he will start the Epistle. And you will notice when he ends the Epistle, he will put his hand down on the altar to let the altar boy know it's time for his response. There's his hand movement. Walter Sir responds. What's up? <coughs> Father starts gradual. You see here. Gradual, we'll go to the Alleluia. To that, Father starts his prayers.
with the gospel. Father starts off with the gospel. Hunter Boy responds. At this point, we know that the gospel is on page 249. We have our page marked. Go to 249. Where we read from the gospel of St. John. She talks about the marriage of Cana of Galilee. In your reading, this is such a wonderful passage. In case you're a fast reader, you will know that Father is done when he brings the missile up to his lips to kiss the book. At which point, the altar server responds, Lops Tibe Christe, praise be to thee, O Christ. <clears throat> Now that Father is done with the Gospel, places the missile closer to the center of the altar. He himself then goes to the center. This not being a Sunday, there is no credo. So we start, it's called the Mass of the Faithful. At this point, those who, well, at one time, those who were practicing to become Catholic would then leave the church. Those were the call to call the catechumens. Now we have the Mass of the Faithful. Those who are baptized into the church will then remain for the consecration and then the communion. So, at so this point, Father starts off here. Offertory. Prayer. Then he starts with the prayers of the offering of the bread and wine. <clears throat> Continues praying. If this were a high mass, there would be an incensing. And now Father is putting in the water and the wine into his chalice. And so we start on these prayers. Now with the water and wine in, Father will say the prayers or the offering of the chalice. See here we offer unto thee, O God, O Lord, excuse me, the chalice of salvation. Father continues, joins his hands, and then we start the washing of hands. We're going to skip this since this is for a high mass. So we're continuing with the low mass. Father then washes his fingers. And starts the Psalm 25, 6 through 12. I will wash my hands among the innocent. Over 
hands back. Prayer to the Most Holy Trinity. Turn to the people. The Owatra, Owatra Frates, brethren, pray. To which the altar boy responds. Father then goes to the secret. Which I just lost. <clears throat> After the secret, he ends worlds. World without end, amen. Father starts the preface. Preface again is from whatever season it is at the moment. After Father is done with his prayers, you hear the bells ring three times. Let's start in the sanctuary. So, let us know to prepare for the consecration. Now we're getting into the canon of the Mass. It's at this point, before the starts of prayers, before consecration. First he prays for the Church and ecclesiastical authorities. Then he starts a commemoration for the living. The invocation of the saints. And he puts his hands over the oblation, the bread and the wine. The altar boy rings, one bell letting us know it's even closer. This is when Father's going to start the consecration. So Father starts the consecration with the oblation of the victim to God. Words of consecration and elevation. Father bends low so they can breathe the words of consecration over the house. And the first bells are rung. again.
Now Father starts a consecration of the blood here. He bends low to read the words of consecration. This is a chalice. Junior flex again. We now have a physical body and blood of Christ on the altar. Father continues with the prayers. Starts with the next set of prayers. Relation of the victim to God. Now we start the prayers after the consecration. Commemoration of the dead. Invocation of the saints. Final doxology and the canon and minor elevation. Then he starts the Pater Noester, the Our Father. In the Our Father, we're going to go to the next section. The Beranos and the Fraction of the Host. You're reading through the missile, and I suggest you read the red parts. That tells you exactly what Father is doing and what point. He just kissed the pattern, which you see here in red. Day. 
Father strikes his breast three times. In the prayers for Holy Communion, pray for peace. Prayer for sanctification. Prayer for grace. Father is now preparing for his communion. We then take the host in his hand three times. Lord, I am not worthy. The altar server will ring the bell three times. as he's consuming the host. And he prepares to consume the blood. Father consumes the precious blood. It's at this point that the altar server starts the people's confiture. Uh, you won't have it in your missal, but if you're learning it, you can find it here. Page 843. This one for the people. Father then turns around, says a prayer. There's the host, which he says, Behold the Lamb of God. We say three times, Lord, I'm not worthy. Then after this starts communion. Once communion is ended, Father will then purify all the instruments used during Mass. making sure any particle of our Lord's body or blood that nothing remains. Once again, pour the wine and water the chalice so everything can be cleansed. Cleaning his fingers, making sure there's no particles left on his fingers. Wine, then water. Father places the wine and water in the ciborium, making sure any particles that are in there are no longer there. Then he pours it into his own chalice, to which he consumes both the water and the wine. So now everything has been 
They're replaced. Alter boy puts the missile back on the epistle side. Takes the chalice bail. Waits for father. Opens up the burst, so father may put the corporal into the burst. to the side of the altar. Father goes for the communion verse. It's back to the middle. Turns to us all. Lord be with you. And then continues on with the post communion verse. Dismissal, the conclusion of the Mass. For the terms the rest, the Lord be with you, with your spirit. Oh, you are dismissed, and then the blessing. the blessing, he goes right to the last gospel. At the words, and, is, and the word was made flesh, we all genuflect, or And then, since this is a low Mass, we say the prayers after Mass. Which include a Hail Holy Queen. Prayer. Pray to St. Michael. And then a verse in response. And after Mass, we say the prayers. Starts off with three Hail Marys. Hail Holy Queen. Prayer. Pray to St. Michael. And another short prayer.
once the prayers are concluded, Father goes to get the chalice. The altar server grabs Father's Beretta. Father has a suborium on top of his chalice. That's what he used when he brought out all the hosts. And there concludes Mass. Say some prayers after Mass for Thanksgiving. And wait for another day. Thank you.